All right, so it is August 21st, and Bradley Fritz and I are in Reno, Nevada, at Ken Chrome's shop, reviewing the mighty Wurlitzer that's being restored out of the Paramount. And Bradley here is going to kind of give us a brief overview of what's been done. Sure. Well, this is, uh, if you've read the stories about the console, this is actually not the original console but is a hybrid between a council that we found that came off the Wurlitzer assembly line, the very next one after the original one that was in the Paramount. But there are some original elements from the Paramount council included in that, including many of the tabs uh, across the top, and also uh, these uh, corner pieces down here on either side, as well as some of the detailing were removed from the original console and are being reapplied. Um, the guts of this generally are from the second console we bought, so they're going to this console and not to the parent. Um, they've just been restoring everything, making sure it works great. Um, and I'll show you, walk you through just one operation of this uh, console, just to show you how intricate and detailed it is. Um, I want to come up closer, Aaron, we'll show you. Uh, this is the solo keyboard, the great keyboard, and the accompaniment keyboard. So we're going to track this little piston here, the FF button for the accompaniment keyboard. Now, when you press that, what you see is that a bunch of these tabs will pop on and off. Some of them will go down, some of them will go back up. It'll change all the settings um, to determine which pipes will get played. But just by pushing that simple button to get all the way back up there, this will activate, energize these magnets that are down here. And that'll send a relay through this panel. And then if we go around to the back, that then connects to one of these. And so if we can find the accompaniment FF, here it is right here. So that will activate one of these little um, airbags here that will, will send a contact down to all those wires. And that in turn feeds through all of these wires up to these two panels. And on these two panels you have little spindles that uh, act as contacts. And here you see our FF. And then each one of these that goes across is one of the ranks of pipes, so one of those tabs that we see at front. And to one side is an off, to one side is an on. And you can see they continue all the way across here. So there's a lot of those. So if that has an on setting here, that will send a puff of air through these pipes here. And then, That will send a puff of air into this, we're gonna get in on this, into this uh, bag here. And so when it puffs up, it flips on that piston. If it's in the off setting, it'll send a puff of air into this lower one, which will then shut that key off. So if you flip it on, this will turn on all of the pipes in that rank and it'll play. And when you get a combination of those, then whenever you hit this FF button, the same tabs will turn on and you'll get the same sound coming out of yours. So you can see how incredibly intricate and detailed uh, all that is just to get one setting on the organ. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape and uh, we're excited to come out to Reno and see it. I right. can't wait for it to get back to the Paramount. Great. All right. Thanks, Brad.